I just wanted to walk you through some steps on how to paint and glue down your baseball tear tray kit. If you haven't made one before, hopefully this will help you figure out all the steps. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out and I can help you and walk you through it again. So I'm just going to paint just a few things and then let you all be on your way. When you have a solid surface, like your baseball plate, your backgrounds boards, you're gonna be using your foam brush. You're gonna dip it in paint, put a little paint on a plate, and then you're going to wipe it on once, maybe twice, depending on how dark you want it. When you get to your letters that are on here, or this guy, or your laces, what I suggest you do is take a piece of painter's tape and put it upside down, on your paper or workspace in front of you. So you have the sticky side facing up. And I would put down these little letters. It's gonna make it so much easier and hold it down so you're not trying to do it on your fingers. You're gonna dip your sponge, makeup sponge in paint, take off the rest and just lightly go over it just like this. Let it dry, you might need another coat re and then redo it, re-go over it. So I would continue to do that and swap out for different letters, like your little popcorn, put those on, your home, put those on. But everything else can basically be painted with this. You can even just use your sponge brush for this, nice and light, just like that. So once it's all painted, then we're gonna assemble it and your um, super glue is included. What you're gonna do is just put a little bit of super glue on the back of the item then on your workspace off to the side i would drop it down to remove all the excess glue and then put it down on your project it just prevents the overspill of the glue coming out everywhere so that's that um, and you're again you're just going to layer all these things once these are all painted and assembled you'll have your garland where you have your little baker's twine, that's gonna be strung through here. You have your stands, which you'll assemble just like this to put under one sign. And then whatever one you wanna use this other stand, you're going to glue it to the back and then take the semicircle and that's gonna go there. So it's gonna sit this way, just like that. If there are beads included in your kit, a really simple way to paint your beads are to use the enclosed paintbrush, put your bead on the brush, take your sponge, paint it, take this off, flip your bead around, do the other side, and then let them dry. And then you will string these on the jute cord that's included as well. Um, that's basically it. If you have any questions, just please let me know. And I can't wait to see your finished tray kits. Make sure you take a picture and either post them on my Facebook page or just message them to me and I'll post them. And um, good luck because you're gonna wanna make all the trays because it's a problem. I wanna make every tray now. So have fun, can't wait to see how they come out.